Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming and performance in 2024. So let's just get to it. So the first tip that I highly recommend you is to create a restore point. Now to do this, press the Windows button and simply type restore. Now select create a restore point from the search results and in the new window make sure to choose the drive for which you want to do a restore point. Usually it has to have the protection set to R. And then just click on create. Now the next thing you have to do is simply type in a description. Let's just type in one and then click on create. And afterwards you can close the window and there you go you have a system restore point. In case things go south, you can always use this restore point to come back to a state where your computer was doing just fine. Next in line, another useful tip is to enable storage sense. To do this, press the Windows button, then click on settings, afterwards go to system on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the storage category and just click on it. And now the last thing you have to do in here is simply toggle to on the storage sense option. From here on storage sense will automatically free up space, delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud content, which will make your computer run more efficiently than ever. Because if you have a lot of files, well, don't expect that your computer won't be clogged and running like an old tractor. Make sure to toggle this to on and let's move on to the next tip. And the next tip is to enable game mode. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type game mode. Now select game mode settings from the search results. And in here, simply toggle to on the game mode option. This will optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background, like unnecessary apps, and even making your computer more efficient in terms of energy consumption, such and such. So if you wanna have optimal performance on your computer, make sure to do this setting because it's super important. Next in line, you can also adjust performance settings. To do this, press the Windows button, and then simply type adjust, now you can click on this, it's a control panel item, and from here on you have three options. To let Windows choose what's best for your computer, to adjust for best appearance, or adjust for best performance. Or you can also do a custom thing if you wanna show certain things like thumbnails, cause you know, you can adjust it for best performance, but then you won't see thumbnails on your images, which can be a problem. So make sure to play with these settings, then click on apply and okay to save the changes, and you're good to go. Moving on, you can also play a bit with the system configuration. To do so, press the Windows button, then type in system configuration. Now select it from the search results. And what you can do in here is head over to boot and then click on advanced options. Now, when you select the number of processors, make sure to expand the drop down menu and click on the maximum number of processors that you use. This will enhance the speed of your PC, making it more efficient for playing games like a pro. Then you can click on OK, apply an OK to save the changes, and you're good to go. OK, next tip, disabling background apps. I think this one is super important because you might have apps in the background that you just don't use and they're eating a lot of resources. So to do this, right click the Windows button, head over to Task Manager and in here, whatever processes you have that you don't use, make sure to right click on them and select End Task. Alternatively, you can also go to Startup Apps and disable all the unnecessary apps that simply start when you boot up your computer because this can be such a pain. It can clog your computer so badly when you just turn it on and you have a thousand apps that want to start up with your booting process, it can make things a mess. So simply click on them, select disable and you're good to go. Moving on, you can also do a little tweak when it comes to your mouse settings. So press the Windows button, type in mouse settings and then select mouse settings from the search results. Now in here you can play with the mouse pointer speed if you want to make it faster or you can make it slower. As you can see, this can be too slow, so maybe just keep it on a balanced mode. Now in here, head over to additional mouse settings and then click on the pointer options tab. And lastly in here, just make sure that enhanced pointer precision is turned off. I know it can be tricky because it relates to precision, you know, you see these keywords, but it will actually help you. Just try it out and check for yourself. Then you can click on apply and OK and you're good to go. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.